What's up guys? Kevin here. Uh, it's been a while. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I have a quick review, a quick overview of the new Post Archive Faction and on running uh, sneaker as well as a comparison with the Cloud Monster that they released previously. Without further ado, let's get into the shoes. They've released, I believe, mid-October. Uh, they've been teased for a while now. They've been teased for months and months. And it was originally shown off at Paris Fashion Week. And they had the, the 1.0 release as well as uh, the 2.0 now. The 1.0 release had two Cloud Monster 2s. One in moon dust and chalk, and the other one with black and magnet. Uh, and for this one, it is a Cloud Monster 2, except it's in like a almost moon yellow color, as well as the Cloud Venture Peak, uh, which came in a a cacao and espresso color, as well as an all black color. So here's the shoe, same as uh, the Cloud Monster that released months ago or quite a few months ago uh, same sort of yellow paper uh, there isn't any sort of um, like you know spare laces or any sort of accessories just a very very minimal packaging um, so path and on running um, like path's website crashed almost immediately it was almost impossible to get and then on released their stuff way early they like released it like crazy early um, they released it almost an hour before they said they were going to release it and I struck out on the men's sizing. I was able to get the woman's sizing and get my equivalent of it, which is a woman's nine and a half, which would translate to a men's eight. Um, so sizing, in terms of sizing, to be honest, the Cloud Monster 2, I got those in a men's eight uh, and they fit great and then they're a little... Uh, like I wouldn't say big, but they do have some room in the front. So that's why I thought I could go true to size with the Cloud Venture Peak and thought it would be perfectly fine. But I would honestly, personally, I would recommend going up half a size uh, if you can. So I should have gotten a woman's 10 because it fits really, really snug. It's a very form fitting shoe. I thought that it'll fit similar to the Cloud Monster, but yeah, I'll, I'll go more into detail about those. So. First pair I'm going to talk about is the cacao. Here it is. So here is that cacao espresso color. Cool looking shoe. It's inspired by the lotus leaf roots. You can see these sort of three pod detailing right here. Um, that kind of has like that sort of like, almost like there's like internal structure behind it that it kind of like gives the silhouette of. Um, very, very cool, like almost like asymmetrical. I mean, like it is asymmetrical in its lacing system. Very interesting. And then on the other side, it also has those like sort of three pod internal structure detailing. Um, the sole of the shoe is more rugged. This uh, like second sneaker release, I guess from Path and On Running, this is more geared towards uh, like trail running and where you need a little bit more stability rather than the sort of um, sort of like propulsion that the Cloud Monster 2 gave. Uh, the Cloud Monster 2 had a nylon shank in between the Cloud Venture. It feels very, very like rugged. So I don't think it has that same sort of springboardy feel to it. Um, the tongue, kind of an asymmetrical tongue with the split down the middle. It still does have a little bit of that cloud tech where it does kind of like compress on the heel, but the forefront is a very very sturdy hard rubber and again like i said the sizing on this i would recommend going up half size from your true to size the insole is a very like low profile insole not much cushioning on there it says cloud runner peak and path on there i'm not sure if you guys can see that there we go not sure if you guys can see that but there it is and it also has like this sort of almost like a very, very small foam pad in the forefront and the heel is pretty firm. Let me pull out the all black color. Here is the all black color compared to uh, the cacao espresso color. Um, the all black was definitely more popular during the release and the cacao sat for a little bit, but comparing the two, the black is definitely more 
wearable, but I think the cacao is going to be like a sleeper hit. I think this is actually the better colorway, but this one's more wearable, if you get what I'm saying. So the all black colorway, same sort of structure, same sort of like internal structure that you see with the three pods. And then, yeah, just very, very like minimal detailing. It's, yeah, the upper is made of a recycled polyester, uh, as well as just has some fusing detailing all the way throughout. Uh, the internal side has a little bigger of like a counter, as well as a small peeking through. Um, has a pretty big, um, big mesh panel that's sort of like coming down the river almost. And here is the outsole. The outsole is a very just sort of durable rubber outsole. I believe this is Mission Grip, which I'm assuming is their proprietary rubber, whatever the heck it's called. Um, but yeah, the shoe itself, so let me pull out. So I actually wear my Cloud Monster 2s really, really often, and they've been holding up really great. I actually go on runs and I go to work and stuff like that, and I wear them casually. Um, here is the black, uh, compared to the, or I guess black magnet, I should say, compared to the black Cloud Venture. Very, very different silhouettes. The upper, I can see where the upper is like sort of similar, but like this one definitely has a very unique because of the sole. And this one, it has that very sleek down, whoop, very sleek down shape. And personally, I like the look of the Cloud Venture uh, peak more than the cloud monster just because the um, I feel like this is a little bit more low profile and I like how sleek it is but I love the comfort of the cloud monster 2 the cloud monster 2 is just great like flat out cloud monster 2 very very comfortable very wearable very versatile um, and just comparing the two these are both like the same size but they almost like seem like night and day like one's this is like a size 8 men's, which is a 41 euro, and this is a size 41 euro as well. It seems like at least like a centimeter difference. I don't know, like half a centimeter difference. Like this almost like fits probably like an 8.5 then uh, compared to this. This feels like really snug. Um, but yeah, like overall big fan of the collaboration. Here's the Moon Dust colorway, or from Moon Dust Chalk colorway, excuse me, from the first release. I wear these quite often as well. I kind of just swap in and out. And here is, oop, here's the cacao. Uh, so just comparing them all together, in terms of looks, honestly, I'm gonna say the espresso cacao first. Uh, the. Cloud Monster last, unfortunately. So it'll go in this order for me. Like I love how the espresso color looks, and then I love the color and the shade of the moon dust. And then we have the Cloud Venture in black, and then the Cloud Monster 2 in the black magnet color. So this would be my ranking. Uh, for you guys, like which one do you guys like or prefer more? Um, if you guys have a pair of the Cloud Ventures, like let me know how you guys like it. Let me know what size you guys went and what color you guys ended up going for. Part of me is a little bit torn where they're, these are a little snug. Like I'm like an eight to an 8.5, but I'm a comfortably an eight on the Cloud Monster. My toe is literally like right, right there. And it's a bit of a harder toe, if that makes sense. It's like more firm compared to uh, the Cloud Monsters, as well as, just width wise it's like just just like like almost one to one fit which i feel like after wearing a little bit it might start hurting a little bit so i'm kind of like i don't know do i do i return it and then just like hopefully i can get it secondhand somewhere else or do i stick through with it and see if it'll stretch a little bit but this is like mostly a polyester and a fuse upper so I don't think it'll stretch like a leather shoe would. Uh, so yeah, like let me know what you guys think I should do. I will also show an on foot uh, with a few different pairs of pants uh, just so that you guys can get a good idea. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys soon. Peace.